What's up guys, in this video we are going to be going over consolidating, freezing, and resampling in Ableton Live. These are core workflow techniques and concepts that are, they're, they're important um, in my opinion, so we're going to go through them. So we're going to make an idea, and I'm going to show you a number of different ways uh, on how you do the things that are in this video title. Let's go into the arrangement view and I want to select a bar loop. And how I do that, how you can do that just kind of starting out, uh, you know, this can be done with muscle memory um, down the line, but starting out you want to make sure that you are actually selecting a bar loop. So what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll go fixed grid, we'll have that set to one bar. Kaboom. And We'll notice that you know the the resolution of what we can select is one bar so we'll just do that right click and then go activate loop so this is going to be different i'm glad that i did this this way if the loop section is already here in what you select and you right click you will see activate loop if it is not right if it is not we go loop selection it will loop that selection so context sensitive stuff um, is important to take into account. So right now, yeah, we have a bar selected. I will right click and go to adaptive grid back to narrow so I can see what's going on. And then I can see the grid divisions down here and it's all well and good. So I'm going to go uh, zoom out, select this and zoom out to uh, quarter notes, quarter bar, I should say. And I want to add in a kick because that is what we do. I'm going to go I'll go uh, user library samples. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Go to packs, and I'll go, I'll go uh, drum machines samples kick. Right. We'll just put that in there. And uh, what I'll do is I will. I can do it in a number of ways. I can select that and then go control copy and then select this and then go control paste that's really not efficient so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the area that i want to duplicate over and uh, i can right click and i can see duplicate here control d right i can either press that or hit control d but i'll just do that hit control d d and i've effectively kind of duplicated that in the uh you know, the division that I would like. So I'll give that a play. So I have a four on the floor kind of beat here. Um, let's add, let's add some stuff, maybe. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, an effect. And that will be, yeah, let's go, let's go channel EQ. I'll just drag that in there. Give it a bit of a bump there. Like so, and then maybe, uh, just trying to go through what we've already been through, and I'll go, I'll go uh, overdrive. I'll use a slight amount of overdrive. Just to give it a little bit of low end there. And then I'll select all these, and then I'll just bring the volume down in that view there. Cool. Okay, so there's that. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is consolidating. So back in the day, I used to make these really long tracks. So I have this, this bar loop here. I would essentially just duplicate things like crazy throughout the entire thing, and all these clips would just eat up the RAM. And each clip is its own separate entity, and it was it was a disaster, and that's how I, that's how I did things, which is completely the wrong way to go about doing it. Um, your sets will be very slow and sluggish if you do it that way. We actually want to consolidate all of these into a a, uh, a loop, right? So we're going to select the loop region that we have, which we know is one bar. I'm going to right click on the top, right? It has to be on the top and I'm going to hit consolidate. And what that does is that will render and stitch together no, it doesn't sit together. It just renders out the audio, um, the 
clips into one clip, any big clip in size that you want. Right? And with that, I can easily select that clip, hit loop, and then I can easily loop that forever and ever. Amen. Consolidating also has some other um, useful ways to apply itself to words. It, it, it's, it's also useful for MIDI. So I'm going to select this MIDI area right here. And uh, yeah, let's just make this bigger and move that out of the way. Let's get uh, let's get some sort of something in here. And we'll go. Yeah. We'll go D. Something like that. And what I'll do is I'll actually loop that. I just put in wavetable. We covered that in the previous video. And uh, I'm not even going to bring the MIDI down. I can just bring the semitone-ish things down. And then bring that over there. And get the envelope to that right to there. Look like that. Maybe change the filter a bit. We have that. And what I can do, I can, yeah, I can get some velocity. Change the velocity bins. Those, these are called bins, by the way. And that's not doing anything, so I need to go back into the MIDI here, and that is affecting the velocity. Velocity 100%, okay. Uh, we covered this in the previous video somewhat. So there's, there's that. So yeah, let's, uh, you know, move these sort of things about here. What if, like, get that a little bit shorter? And yeah, what if we want to just duplicate that over? Well, this is similar idea, right? Consolidating consolidates clips, whether it be audio or MIDI. And, you know, say if we were working on that one little piece there, and then we wanted to kind of change it, well, would we really want to change this one and muck around and stuff like that and just go through each clip? It's kind of inefficient. So what we can do is we can select, right click, and then consolidate. And now we have consolidated all of that together into one big thing, which is pretty cool. So now we can change that. Shorten that, move that over, and then consolidate this. And it's just a really nice workflow, uh, making things sound neat and uh, not having to move some things around and stuff like that. So that is essentially consolidating. Right, it renders the clip in place. So freezing. Freezing is a different thing freezing will render everything post effects right so we have post effects and then pre effects right so when we consolidate we're just rendering the clip we're not actually changing these uh these uh we're not actually committing the effects here to that audio file if we want to do that we right click and then go freeze right and what this does is this will kind of render it and then kind of freeze the track in place so it, you don't have any overhead processing overhead right and if you want to kind of commit this like in photoshop we can flatten and that effectively committed the effect um, and the eq to that file so yeah that would be freezing and flattening and uh, you know freezing is great because we can you know, uh, ease up on the, the processing. We know we're not going to change this, whatever it is. You know, we flatten it. 
uh, or we sorry we freeze it and then after you know if we want to edit we can unfreeze and then go in and change things if we wish freezing with midi does a similar thing right click and then we'll freeze and that will freeze the track it's still there but we can see that it is frozen and uh, we don't have access to anything like that because it's actually an audio file but if we want to have exposure to that audio file and kind of commit everything and just kind of save that track we flatten and then there is that we don't have access to it anymore it's essentially gone and now we have just the audio of the uh, the wavetable. And this is really cool because then you can essentially sample yourself and all of that. Shouldn't necessarily call it that, but you get the idea. It's just a great way of um, great way of uh, committing things and then moving on. And then you can. It's just it's a it's a good way to go about doing things. It's like yeah, it's like committing the brush to the canvas, and then there you go. So that is consolidating, um, freezing, freezing, consolidating, freezing, and flattening. Next up is resampling. This is a different thing, and now we're getting into the routing. So what I want to do is I actually want to group these together. These want to be in a group. And what we can do is we can kind of call this something, um, uh, kick base not kick B ass, kick base. And we'll just kind of hide that. And no, actually we'll leave that open so we can see what's going on. I'm gonna create a new audio track and I want to record or resample this. Recording within Ableton Live, not an outside thing like a microphone or anything like that. It's from within Ableton Live. So if you don't see this, you have the IO button down here and we'll see uh, external in and you know we're hearing my uh, microphone um, but if we wanted to go to this drop down here for um, you're not you're not going to see um, a lot of these re waves uh, rewire and melodyne we want uh, resampling and what this is is this is essentially recording what you hear right so whatever is playing, it will then be recorded within this uh, lane here. And uh, we can see there's that volume there. If we hit in, it'll do something weird. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It protects us from ourselves. Right, so we can't actually, can't actually monitor it. That's good. Uh, you got to be careful with that sort of thing. So right now, Resampling is set to auto. I'm going to have it set to in, and you'll notice that this changes. We're going to do like our, our first kind of recording. Resampling, whatever you hear is what this channel will hear. I can actually turn this off, and nothing's coming in. Right, We can see that right there. Hit one. It's hearing some stuff. We can see the volume coming in. And I actually have it armed to record. That's what that button is doing right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit that record button at the beginning. Right, and wow, we recorded something. And if we hit solo, we can't actually hear it. We actually have to um, turn off um, the uh, direct monitoring. That's what this is. Turn that to either auto or off. I go off and in. I like to have control over things. I'm a bit like that. And uh, yeah, we have what we were hearing here. And that's essentially resampling, and we can do all sorts of cool stuff with that. It's really useful. We can take little little bits and uh, pieces of our track, resample it, and then we can add some effects that we can then kind of pepper in. Right, it's exactly the same. Right, and we can, you know, like, I don't know, warp it. <laughs> or just do all sorts of fun stuff with it. But that's essentially uh, resampling, and it's kind of an introduction to recording. And uh, yeah, this was done a lot to kind of have a global um, effect um, and things like that. I accidentally moved it in there. So 
Yeah, from there, you know, add some sort of you know, effect or something. You can switch between these. Things like that. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that video. You can also, yeah, you can also resample things instead of um, freezing and flattening. But, you know, there's a number of ways uh, to go about doing that. So consolidating will not affect any effects. It will just consolidate the clips pre-effect and all of those fun things. From there, I will see you in the next video. I hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.